Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn, a cross watcher, wherever you are on the planet, shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge you, we're so grateful for your presence. Thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. And whether or not anybody else has told you this today, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. It's solid, it's unconditional, it's a fact. If you're going to claim this reading, please, only from your higher self and for your higher good. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If you need to contact me for any reason at all, my information is in the box below on how to do so. And lastly, could you please hit that like and subscribe? It's fun. It's entertainment purposes only. It doesn't cost you anything and it will make you feel good because it's positive energy that you are expending out into the universe that has no choice but to reverberate back to you. In the meantime, though, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this clearing ground for Capricorn. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relate clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Capricorn. Capricorn, we're working with energy. It's fluid, and I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how. We're going to help somebody here today, yeah? Yeah, show me Capricorn. 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 What's going on in the world of Capricorn? All right, here we go. You have a nine of wands. Ooh. Okay. All right, look. Some of you could be dealing with a person, place, or thing, or a situation from the past that is just knocking you out, okay? You are being resilient. You are standing your ground, and you're persevering through this, whatever it is for you. It's going to be different for everybody. You have the nine of wands as your current energy, meaning that you are definitely persistent and not taking no for an answer in a situation. Uh, you're very close to success, though. And with the Six of Cups here, this could be a person, place, or thing, or situation from the past. Now, you did try to bounce yourself out here, or you bounced yourself out, Two of Pentacles. You're very resourceful, you know, very flexible, very adaptable in a situation. Show me what's, um, yeah, what's at the foundation? I'm seeing some kind of a boat sticking out of the water, like, yeah. Maybe a place where there's boats docked and some of them, like, are half sunken. Yeah, you have the page of cups at the foundation of this situation in reverse. So you could have been dealing with somebody who's younger, very immature, very vain. Somebody who was emotionally manipulative, perhaps. Uh, somebody who was selfish. And you have the seven of cups in reverse. Some of you here, you know, you could be very distracted right now. Maybe you feel overwhelmed with this situation or whatever the hell is going on here. Maybe you're confused or there's some kind of clarity you need here, all right? Show me what's going on now. What's coming in? What's coming in for Capricorn? Here we go. So you, things you don't know, things you don't see. Cancer and Pisces energy, things going on under the surface. Uh, you know, it's the moon. There could be some kind of a vagueness. And maybe this is why you, you know, you need some kind of clarity. Something could be very vague to you. Uh, there could be some kind of deception going on. You know, something could be an illusion. Let's see what's going on, Capricorn. Get Pisces and Cancer energy now. That's the most predominant. Show me. All right, here we go. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy. For a very reliable resourceful energy somebody who's very hard working somebody who's stable in many ways than one somebody who's very down to earth and sensible generous practical could be a mother or a mother figure but it doesn't have to be somebody could be quietly working on their finances or somebody yeah here we go you have judgment there's a breakthrough in the situation here okay whatever that is for you it's going to be different for everybody um but whatever it is somebody's calling judgment on, on a situation here. Maybe with some kind of a vague situation or something to do with somebody's finances. You have, okay, you have Scorpio energy, Cancer and Pisces as the most predominant. Now we have Aquarius, the star, okay? This is healing. This is hope for your future. This could be a gift from the divine. You could be knowledge sharing in some way. You could be very esoteric, metaphysical. Somebody here likes pineapples. I'm seeing pineapples. Also, somebody could be going out for seafood. I'm seeing lobsters. We could be eating a lobster right now. You got the emperor. Aries energy. So somebody here is bossing up. Somebody's taking control of a situation. Somebody's very dependable. 
Somebody's very protective and practical and stable, okay? Hardworking. It's the best attributes of all four kings. Rolled up into one, Capricorn. So you, you might have Aries in your chart, or you might be dealing with somebody that does. But there's an energy here of somebody who's going to be very protective and a leader in some way. Show me. Now, over here, you have a Five of Cups in reverse. Five of Cups in reverse talks about some kind of finding peace in a situation. It's coming to some kind of clarity that gives you, you know, the ability to come to acceptance. Once you come to acceptance, then you could forgive. You find peace in this. You could forgive yourself and everybody and anybody else in any situation. And that gives you the ability to move on. Okay. The acceptance, the awareness, the clarity brings you happiness. And you can move on in a positive direction from that that point. Yeah. Five of cups in reverse. So finding peace and forgiveness. And moving on. Acceptance, acceptance, acceptance. Show me. Okay, you got a three of wands. Yeah, well, then now you're going to gain some kind of uh, momentum. You know, you had some kind of foresight here, three of wands. You're going to gain some kind of foresight because of this clarity and this acceptance that you're going to have. And you're going to gain momentum. It's about confidence and leadership and growth. And then progress, right? Picking a path towards progress. Moving forward. Show me. Here we go. So you have strength. Leo energy, some of you might have this in your chart, you might be dealing with somebody that does, but whether you do or you don't, this is about not having any self-doubt in whatever path this is that you've decided to move forward in, okay? Doing it with conviction, all right? This is strength, this is courage, confidence, bravery, and overcoming any self-doubt, okay? So taking control, having a lot of self-control. There's the seven of wands here. Seven of wands, some of you might be, you know, absolutely persevering through a situation, this is, you know, maybe you feel like there's competition. Maybe you're being very protective of yourself. And you could also be standing your ground in a situation, being very strong and standing your ground in whatever path this is that you've decided. Um, yeah, so there's an eight of pentacles. This is about hard work and effort. Whatever path this is that you've decided, whether it's financial or emotional, you're ready to put the work in here. Spirit is advising you to put the work in. This is about, you know, dedication and commitment. It's also about education. So whatever you've learned in the past, you know, now, on a financial note, some of you might have some kind of skill that you are becoming an expert at. You're mastering something here. You have some kind of talent. And you're at the Eight of Pentacles. You know, you're busy focusing here, or you should be on whatever this is, and concentrating on what you're doing, because it will lead to the Ten of Pentacles one day. Okay? So, here we go. Seeing a checkerboard, a checkerboard, which represents the duality, right? The yin, the yang, the good, the bad. Two of Swords. Some of you might be in some kind of denial, or you're going to have to make some kind of choice here that, you know, you feel like maybe your back is up against the wall with the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is a stalemate. Some of you could be ignoring how you feel about something. You're trying to not, you know, yeah. Some of you could be looking up at the sky when there's a crescent moon. Maybe you're going to see uh, like a jet cross the moon, cross the sky. You could be looking up at birds a lot lately. Here, we have the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I feel like this really came out in reverse. So Capricorn, King of Swords is somebody who's cruel and cold. Some of you could be in some kind of denial about some somebody who's cold. Um, somebody who's cold-hearted. Somebody who's very manipulative in a, in, a, in a very bad way. They're pessimistic. This person is mean. You know, this is a mean person. This is the type of person that would pinch a kid or kick a dog or something, you know, just because. Some of you could be in denial about a person like this. I don't, I mean, I would hope that you're not in denial about yourself if you're like this Capricorn. I, I don't think so. Okay, here we go. Now, there's also a King of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is a person who's very charismatic. Somebody could have probably Leo in their chart here. Maybe some air, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And somebody could be in some kind of denial about some kind of action they need to take. Or that somebody here needs to take control of a situation, especially if they are bitter, mean, cruel, you know, manipulative, irrational, some kind of dishonest, ruthless person. Okay, there's some kind of action that needs to be taken over this. Maybe somebody's in denial. They, they got to put an end to this. It's, it, it's a ten of swords. It's, it's an end to this. Whatever this bitterness is, whatever this, uh, you know, it's going to cause some kind of ruin. It's exhausting. Um, use your intuition. Maybe you need to do this on the down low. Maybe you don't need to tell everybody what you're doing. Maybe you need to take this action in and of yourself. 
especially if you know that you're like this. And if it's not this, then you need to not be in denial if you're dealing with a person like this and take some kind of action. Page of one, you know, this is, oh, yeah. Could be some kind of a soulmate here. Um, you could be dealing with a younger person that's immature. Maybe you want things done by, you know, in a very traditional manner and somebody doesn't and it's time to move on because it's the weight of the world on your shoulder. You need to fill your heart with love here. Somebody's trying to get away with something anyway. you got the king to the queen of cups here. There is some kind of emotional bond. That's the mom and the dad. This is too emotionally balanced, you know, and this is coming in for you. So I feel like you need to, add, if there's a situation out there where you're dealing with somebody who's, you know, irrational, ruthless, and just, you know, mean, emotionally manipulated, and very cold-hearted, there's an action that's got to be taken. Somebody's got to take the lead here and end that, end that energy. Whether it's within yourself or somebody else. Okay, somebody here might be drinking a lot and seeing a lot of cups here spilt over. Somebody here might, I don't know, live on a farm. Maybe I'm seeing a brown horse. A brown horse. Show me, Kipper. Let's get a uh, binaural beat. You have a house, a home, a property, a real estate, something tangible. 20. Somebody could have been born on the 20th of the month. I'm seeing cobblestone streets. I'm seeing a gated property. Maybe something with historical value. Maybe something that has like a widow's walk. Uh, somebody's thinking about somebody here. 16 or 7. Somebody could be 61. Somebody could be born on the 16th or the 7th of the month. Show me. Somebody's got some kind, somebody here might have somebody that's like amused to them, that's some kind of inspiration to them. The letters C, the letters W, the letters M. Somebody might be a painter or some kind of graphic artist. Somebody here could be a thief, 24 or 6. Somebody could be 42. Somebody might have been born on the 24th or the 6th of the month. There could be thieves working in tandem. Somebody might be distracting somebody, maybe in a sexual manner while somebody else is cleaning them out. Somebody has some kind of like blue, I'm hearing blue suede shoes. Don't step on my blue suede shoes. Somebody has some like kick-ass blue shoes here. Now, whether they're sneakers or not, doesn't matter. They're blue. They're like a vibrant blue. Maybe like the desk. There's pathway here. New pathway opening up. Somebody could be 53. Uh, somebody could have been born on the 8th of the month. There's butterflies here representing transformation. And there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Now, whatever that tunnel is for you, it's going to be different, right? Somebody might be going for like a hike in the woods here. I'm seeing the Taj Mahal in India. Here, now, I'm hearing... Take me down to... What is that song? Hmm, there's a mature man here. Number five. I'm hearing a song in my head and I can't translate it to you. Sorry. This person. This person might be very well read or very well world traveled. This person is intelligent. This person is very dapper. This person is a little... Uh, yeah. Echo... Eccentric. This person is a little eccentric. They could be very eco-friendly too, like maybe somebody that cares about the planet. Like they wouldn't like, you know, pollution or something like this or global warming feeling. Yeah, somebody might, oh, there's marriage involved in here. Number three, could be a family room. Somebody wants to get married and maybe fill up their house here because they're in despair and poverty. I'm feeling like an emotional poverty. They could live in distant horizons. This is, somebody might, you know, this could be somebody in the military, the law was, somebody could hold somebody in high honor. That means respect. Maybe somebody has really good work ethics that somebody admires here. It's going to be a privileged lady. Somebody has to go on a journey and there could definitely be some children involved in this. You have three, 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 three megahertz, three, three, three hertz. This is, oh, this is pure energy of the ascended master. So they gave you a very strong one today, Capricorn. Let's get you some letters today. Thank you again. We love you. Always remember. Yeah. Here we go. Show me what we have. We have J. So Joe. I'm hearing Jai. I'm hearing Gia. Gia. <clears throat> Somebody could be getting a new job here. LBJ. What is... Um, this is a blank. Okay. Somebody could be getting a new job. Somebody could be getting a blow job. Somebody could be, you know, I mean, it could be anything here. Look, somebody drinking those claw drinks. I'm seeing that white claw drink. So we got BJ or JB, CL, a blank, A-E-I-O. That's it. Thank you so much. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity, act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light, guys.